Have you ever found yourself silently screaming in a meeting because one person's enthusiasm or meanderings are making the clock your worst enemy? The agenda is nowhere in sight, and your next meeting is beckoning. Ever wondered how to gracefully guide the meeting back on track without being the one in charge? Well, grab a cup of coffee and let's chat about how to navigate these moments with finesse, ensuring meetings remain productive and on track, even when you're not the one leading. I'm Tina Marie Baugh. I have over 25 years of hands-on experience in technology leadership. I aim to provide practical insights so seasoned tech experts turned managers can bridge the gap between their technical prowess and leadership excellence. Imagine you're right there in the thick of a meeting that's veering off course. Let's work through five tips focused solely on handling these moments with tact and emotional intelligence. Tip one is to begin by acknowledging and validating the speaker's contributions with empathy. Something like, your passion and points are clear and they're valuable. This immediate recognition makes speakers feel seen and respected, fostering a positive meeting environment. It's a straightforward yet powerful way to show your listening, encouraging open and respectful exchanges. This approach not only keeps the conversation flowing, but also builds a foundation of trust. It subtly ensures the meeting stays productive, balancing the need to stick to the agenda while valuing everyone's input. Starting from a place of empathy sets the tone for effective collaboration. Tip two is to introduce the idea of time boxing. This technique allocates a fixed, limited amount of time to each agenda item to ensure discussions stay focused and productive. You might say, can we dedicate the next five minutes to wrap up this point? I think it's important, and we also need to cover other agenda items. The and here is the key. Again, we are validating the points being made and acknowledging that there are other agenda items. This method respects the speaker's time while gently reminding them of the meeting scope. Tip three is to consider taking the discussion offline. Sometimes the best solution is to suggest a focused discussion outside the meeting. You could say something like, I'm intrigued by your points, and I think there's more we could explore together. What do you think about setting up a time after this meeting to really dive into it? This approach not only helps to maintain the focus and pace of the current meeting, but also signals to your colleague that you genuinely value their insights and are interested in a deeper understanding. It's a way of saying, let's give this the attention it deserves, without making it seem like their contribution is derailing the meeting's agenda. Tip four is all about the strategic use of a meeting's private chat feature. If you're looking to guide the conversation without interrupting the flow, A well-crafted private message can be your best ally. Whether it's a gentle reminder about time constraints or a suggestion to table an in-depth discussion for a later session, the key is in how you phrase your message. Consider typing something like, really appreciate your insights on this. 
might be worth exploring more in a dedicated session. What do you think? This approach is not just about providing suggestions discreetly, it's about doing so with tact and respect, ensuring your message is received as helpful, not critical. This method proves invaluable, especially if you're newer to the team or in a junior role, allowing you to contribute effectively without overstepping. By being diplomatic in your communication, you foster a collaborative atmosphere, even in the most dynamic of discussions. Tip five is to take the opportunity to provide feedback to the meeting leader in private, of course, in a way that underscores your support and collaboration. Construct your feedback to highlight the positives first, then gently suggest areas for improvement, always framing it in a collaborative tone. For instance, I really appreciated the depth of today's discussion. I noticed we couldn't cover all the agenda items, which had some great points we might have explored. Perhaps for future meetings, we could look at more structured time allocations for each topic to ensure comprehensive coverage. I'm more than willing to help. What do you think? This approach not only presents a solution, but also actively offers your assistance, reinforcing a team-centric attitude and a willingness to contribute to making meetings more effective and inclusive. And there we have it. Five tips for ensuring meetings remain productive and time efficient, even when the reins aren't in your hands. We have discussed the importance of acknowledging and validating, using time boxing, taking discussions offline, using chat, and providing post-meeting feedback. Remember, your influence in meetings can significantly enhance productivity and foster a respectful, inclusive environment, whether face-to-face or through a screen. As we continue to navigate the vast and dynamic landscape of technology leadership, I invite you to dive deeper by checking out my other videos. Each one is designed to offer you actionable insights and strategies to enhance your leadership skills in the tech industry. Until next time, innovate, inspire, learn, and lead. You got this.